Stereotactic radiosurgery is a new way of delivering radiation as a single do dose high beam therapy precisely to the tumor, particularly for the brain tumors, taking care of the normal brain that doesn't get the any kind of damage. Now, when we give stereotactic radiosurgery, we use a principle called the stereotaxy wherein the size of the tumor is measured, the volume of the tumor is also measured and the dose is calculated according to the requirement and the entire dose is delivered to a special technique using a special machine so that the tumor gets the maximum radiation and not the brain at all. When we give such high dose radiation as a single dose, the tumor stops growing initially and then eventually regress and shrink over the time and uh, doesn't cause any further symptoms in the brain. Now, whenever the tumor is less than 3 cm, we can adopt this technique and treat these brain tumors without an open surgery. So, this is called stereotactic radiosurgery. It is done as a teamwork by the neurosurgeons and the radiotherapists and the radiation physicists, wherein the dose is calculated appropriately and delivered to the tumors. There are many benign conditions like pituitary tumors, acoustic tumors, small meningiomas, and arteriovenous malformations can be treated with stereotactic radius. In addition, the greatest advantage of this is that if a person is not fit enough for an open surgery due to associated comorbidities, or whenever the tumor comes back with a small recurrence, uh, we need not reoperate on them and treat them with stereotactic radiosurgery. In addition, when we are operating, if the tumor is stuck to a very wide structure such as a blood vessel or a nerve or a part of the brain, one need not cause any damage. A small bit of the tumor can be left behind and subsequently stereotactic radiosurgery can be given to the small bit of the tumor so that it doesn't grow further and doesn't cause any further problems. So it's particularly useful, uh, especially in elderly people who have many other medical conditions which will not make them fit to go for the open surgery. And depending upon the indication, the stereotactic radio surgery can be given to all age groups and for a specific type of indications, even in the spinal cord. And the, the most important thing is that in the stereotactic radio surgery, though it is radiotherapy, it is delivered in so precisely that it affects only the tumor and the surrounding brain tissue is totally protected.